Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Help me make up my channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Yesterday, I didn't get a video done. I went out of town with the family. Four little toddlers, one of which threw up on itself multiple times. That trip was three hours there, three hours back, and it was a nightmare. One of them had a complete meltdown on the whole way. And then to top that off, a hawk decides to commit suicide standing there alongside the road just waits to last minute to fly right into the fucking mirror and decapitate it. Which is kind of weird considering the timing uh, if you've seen Titans episode 3 season 3 what happens to Hawk? Pieces everywhere. Come back home to a busted pipe flooding the house. What a great day. Anyways, why the last man? This trailer, and I'm, this show is supposed to be based off a comic book that I'm unfamiliar with, but I saw this trailer and I'm like, oh man, that would be great. It, it looks pretty original. Had it not come out at this point in time, when all Hollywood pushes is feminist propaganda and LGBT representation. Now we have Why the Last Man! And according to the details of it, it it's the wokest of the woke. What? Last man, EPs and stars talk opportunity to blow up ginger binary with transgender representation in the FX series. This show is going all in, ignoring science and absolutely everything. How the last man tackles gender diversity and identity. The team behind FX and Hulu's Why the Last Man adaptation explains how the comic book addresses gender identity and challenges the gender binary. Cast and crew behind FX's fast approaching adaptation of Why the Last Man recently opened up regarding how the series addresses the gender identity and diversity as well as how it challenges the gender binary. Why? The Last Man is slated to premiere next month under the FX on Hulu banner. The show is based on DC Vertigo comic series of the same name. The comic takes place in the aftermath of a devastating plague that kills every mammal on Earth with a Y chromosome, with the sole survivors being a man named Yorick Brown and his monkey companion, Ampersand. Yorick's maleness is not what sets him apart in this world. It's his Y chromosome that sets him apart. Why the last man showrunner, Eliza Clark, explained during the show's Television Critics Association press tour panel, gender is diverse and chromosomes are not equal to gender. And so in our world, in the world of tele the television show, every living mammal with the Y chromosome dies. Tragically, that includes many women. It includes non-binary binary people, it includes intersex people. Clark assures that why create wise creators are the making a show that affirms that trans women are women. It's man. Trans men are men. Oh my god! Einhorn is a man! <laughs> Not binary people are non-binary people and that is part of the richness of the world we get to play with it sounds like twitter to me it sounds like this show is like being on twitter to me fx chairman john langraff chimed in as well adding there are women with two x chromosomes men with an x and a y chromosome and this shows all about abc's women with two y chromosomes and there are men with two x chromosomes so there are numerous men in the show who have two x chromosomes they're important characters so there are going to be multiple men in it. one male character who survives why the last man apocalyptic adventure is sam jordan a character who did not appear in the comic and is an original creation of the show 
Sam is played by actor Elliot Fletcher, a trans man. In this world, post the event, gender is somewhat irrelevant, said Fletcher. I think one of the hilarious things about this show is that the post event Yorick can walk around without a mask on because he's assumed to be trans rather than pre the event. People are assumed to be cisgender. Stupid, it's dumb. I just think it flips the traditional idea of gender completely on its head. And so I was very comfortable joining a project that knew that ahead of time and committed to it fully. Fuck this. Fuck. Late garbage and trash to me the wokest of the wokest shit I've ever heard. The series follows survivors in this new world as they struggle with the efforts to restore what was lost and the opportunity to build something better. Wow. Kinda of sounds like all Hollywood does, right? Let's reboot everything and make it woke as hell. I was part of the challenge because we love the source material on one hand, and on the other hand, we recognize the opportunity to really blow up the binary. So you use the source material for an opportunity to cash in and push your brand of politics. That's absolutely all anybody does anymore. So I would say like, you know, but we really have to think of what the audience expects and what they want. And he says, no, no, we have to do the opposite. We have to give them something they don't expect that we want. The way it's been read, perceived, and talked about, Jacobson added, in some ways, it's the most rich and dangerous opportunity to take on some of these questions of representation. When asked about his experience on the series, Fletcher, who is a transgender man, said that he felt comfortable with the creative team, their knowledge and intentions to move past the traditional gender binary. So this is all one person's agenda, taking some comic book that was popular or uh, just taking something that already exists and using it to push their own agenda. The past. Kill it if you have to. <laughs> You're doing a pretty good job. I'm trying. Uh he shared that in the early stages of the show, meeting with Clark and members of the writer's room helped him understand that the why the last man team was fully committed to doing right by the transgender and non-binary communities. Exactly. That's exactly what this show needs to do. This needs to outright ignore... Just... No. no. Well, get some of the comments. Love the comment. Was looking forward to this show. Now, hard pass. It's a great way to kill a show before it even starts. The comic series was art itself. Now it's getting the woke makeover. The wokest of the wokest makeovers. The creators who want to subvert something created something original of their own, not latch onto something and tarnish already established properties. Buy the rights to a property if you're just going to ignore its content in favor of your own modernizations. Seems kind of pointless. I'm all in for inclusion when not forced just because. But sorry, this is lame. The premise is based on biology, not political agendas or wishful thinking. Oh god, must we? And just like that, I lost interest in the product after our fantastic teaser trailer. This is stupid on so many levels. And it isn't what the comic book is about. Call it something else. All this about wanting rep representation and yet never see anything where they want to give disabled people representation. They always seem to be left out. To quote you, Oz, oh, they. Also, surely in a world where you need to survive, all you need to care about is food, water, medicine, shelter, clothing, and weapons if needed. Nothing else would matter as you are trying to stay alive. The original intent of the comic book was to show that women could be just as vicious as men and the idea that the world would be better if women weren't in charge is a false assumption. This FX series is sacrificing the message of the story for current era identity politics. Way to go! If that's true, then you completely... Wow. You suck, Hollywood. Anyways... Maybe some of you actually like this. Some of you think this is a really amazing idea. This is really thing to do. a good thing to do. Push for this kind of representation. Push for this agenda. Hijack a property just to do it. Uh, maybe some of you think it's a great idea. How many people are actually tuning in for this show? And how many people were actually fans of the comic book that have zero to no interest in this show now and think it's god-awful, absolute garbage and just can't stop vomiting?
subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Help promote me on my channel. Greatly appreciate it. All the likes, comments, clicks. You're awesome. Stay awesome.